Hey, what is up guys? Dusty here, and this gameplay is not me, first things first. This gameplay is actually my friend, his name is Bradson, and we have been playing together for quite some time now. And I decided to uh, put Bradson's gameplay up on my channel, because I am actually kind of like his tutor or his mentor. He is kind of like my Padawan. Um, we met uh, on Craigslist, he actually messaged me, and you know, he said, excuse me, Mr. Bottoms Gaming. Um, I noticed that you're an outstanding, just unbelievable Call of Duty player, and I was wondering if you could give me some pointers. So, you know, we started up some training sessions, and we started to play a lot. And when we first started, his ratio was about a .25. Like, it was pretty dire. But I was able to, you know, form him into what you're seeing today. And that is a .69 player. You know, he usually still goes negative, but this is one of his better games, and I promised him I would put one up on my channel. You know, I'm going to be a nice guy about it, and I really told him I would do it, so here we go. So this is his gameplay. Um, you know, watch it while I talk about what I want to talk about, and, you know, leave some comments on what you think of Bradson's gameplay, because he really has come a long way uh, from when we first started the training program. Anyway, uh, in terms of my channel, this is my first video in about a week. Sorry about that, guys. Um, mainly just because, you know, it's summer and I don't like to just sit inside all day and play video games. You know, just like 10 hours usually will do. So, um, you know, I've just, I just haven't been playing as often. Uh, I'll get some gameplays up for you soon. I actually have a couple good ones. In fact, I would like some of you to maybe comment on what you'd want to see. I have a couple of gameplays saved. I have a couple of good shotgun gameplays with the USAS. I know I haven't uploaded any shotgun gameplays at all, so I figured that could be something new, something entertaining. Now, just first and foremost, though, like, I'm not a great player with shotguns. I don't really know what I'm doing. I can't jump shot or do any cool types of, you know, crazy things that a lot of the commentators can do. It's just basic me running around with the USAS and, you know, trying to blow people away. And I, I have some pretty entertaining gameplay saved. I also have a couple of mobs saved. If any of you guys would want to see that, let me know in the comments. Uh, they're not absolutely amazing. They're not, like, two-minute ones or anything like that. It's kind of just the same uh, stuff that I've been posting recently. Um, if you want me to post those, though, and give you guys some more tips on what I um, what I like to do to get the mobs, uh, the third option for you guys would be some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay. Now, I don't have anything specific saved, so I can't tell you like what gun it would be, but if you guys wanted to see some Modern Warfare 2, I'm sure I could just pop it in and probably get some good gameplays, because I really don't think the game is that hard. I think this game provides a bit more of a challenge. So let me know what you want to see. You know, the shotguns, uh, the assault rifle mobs, or Modern Warfare 2. Um, eventually I'll probably get them all posted if that's what you guys want, but what one would you guys want to see, like, if I post a video tomorrow or so? Um, what else did I want to talk about? But yeah, um, every once in a while I'll probably go on some stretches like this where, you know, maybe for a week I don't post, and that's just because, you know, I am kind of busy with work, and it is summer, and, you know, there are things to do. But I do try to update, you know, at least a couple times a week. Every once in a while I get pretty lazy, and what happens this past week will happen, but hopefully that won't continue. Uh, in other news, I have actually um, bought component cables for the PS3, so I can actually start recording gameplays with my PlayStation now. Unfortunately, I don't currently have Modern Warfare 3 for it, however, I do have Modern Warfare 2. If any of you guys, you know, have PS3s and would be interested in playing, uh, just let me know and I can send you my, uh, you know, PS3 username or whatever the heck it's called for that. But, um... Yeah, uh, right now, um, if you guys will allow me to, I would like to go back and talk a little bit more about how bad Bradson is. Um, you know, he's just a really, really bad player. Uh, you'll see right here, there's just no logic in anything that's going on. You'll see some, you know, definite moments where, you know, I would have totally mopped up the enemy team, and Bradson just doesn't always get it done the way you want him to. Like right there, it's like, you know, that guy was laying on the ground, just, just shoot him, Bradson, I, I don't understand. And a, a attack chopper? Uh, I mean, come on, I taught you better than that. But, I mean, really, no, it is quite a good gameplay. And I think it's a pretty entertaining one. I am actually in this game as well. I don't know if any of you guys have noticed, but, yeah, I'm playing in this game, and it wasn't one of my best ones. I think I go, like, 25 and 12 or something. We were actually split-screening at the time, so if you notice that the screen view is kind of zoomed up, like a couple of my other videos when I was split-screening, uh, that's the reason why. In this class, we were both kind of trying to run the Manimal. Uh, Bradson didn't quite do it right. He was using the silencer or some shit, but <laughs> I was running like a similar UMP class and just kind of getting my ass whooped a little bit. And I think before this game, 
on this day, we were actually playing a lot of uh, the face-off game types, split-screening, and those are really, really fun. When you have a friend to play with, you can usually dominate if both of you guys are pretty good. And I think on this day, we went like 14-0 and 0 or something like that, and before we ended up losing once, and then we decided to go to just some regular game modes. And I've played the face-off game types with uh, a few of you subscribers as well, uh, Chris G., and uh, it's always a fun time, just playing some small team games, you know, the entirety of the game rides on you. It's just a lot of fun to do, and I definitely recommend that if you guys have, you know, um, any good friends you want to play with. Um, definitely go into the face-off game mode. It's fun just to talk trash to people. I love everything about them. I can't wait until they add, like, Rust and Shipment, the old maps to that. You know, it's just going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, I think the game is winding down here a little bit. Um, there's a couple more pretty funny deaths that I wanted to poke fun at Brad for. And <laughs> they're coming up pretty soon. So yeah, he's going to run down here and get a kill. And then he runs over here to where the IMS is. And <laughs> someone takes it off from him. And the IMS still kills him. You know, I'd have definitely gotten it done there. Uh, Bradson's just a little bit of a different breed. He wasn't able to capitalize on a good situation, and he got punked pretty good. Not cool, not cool, but we do end up getting the victory, and wait until you see who gets the final kill cam. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it is me. This is the best part of the video. Oh, look at that precision shooting right there. Oh, just gorgeous. Well, that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Really though, he Brad is a good friend of mine, and this is obviously legitimately a good gameplay. I was just having a little bit of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a nice day.